Claude Victor Perard, first Duc de Belluno was a French soldier and military commander during the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. He was made a Marshal of France in 1807 by Napoleon. Life he was born at La Marquis in the Vosges, son of Charles Perard and wife Marie-Anne Floriot, paternal grandson of Charles Perard and wife Gabrielle Guerin, born in 1696, and great-grandson of Pierre Perard and wife Anne Louvier. In 1781 he entered the army as a private soldier, and after ten years' service he received his discharge and settled at Valence. Soon afterwards he joined the local volunteers, and distinguishing himself in the war on the Alpine frontier. In less than a year he had risen to the command of a battalion. In Drome, Valence, on 16 May 1791 he married Jean Josephine Muguet, by whom he had issue which was extinct in the male line by 1917. Military career the Revolutionary Wars for his bravery at the Siege of Toulon in 1793 he was raised to the rank of General de Brigade. He afterwards served for some time with the Army of the Eastern Pyrenees, and in the Italian campaign of 1796 to 1799 he so acquitted himself at Mondovi, Roverito and Mantua that he was promoted to be general of the division. After commanding for some time the forces in the department of Vendi, he was again deployed to Italy, where he performed well in service against the papal troops, and took an important part in the Battle of Marengo. In 1802 he was made governor of the colony of Louisiana for a short time. In 1803 he commanded the Batavian army, and afterwards he acted for 18 months as French plenipotentiary at Copenhagen. In that year he married for a second time in June at S. Hartogen Bosch to Julie Vosch van Avisart, by whom he had an only daughter who died unmarried and without issue. The Napoleonic Wars on the outbreak of hostilities with Prussia he joined the Fifth Army Corps under Marshal John Lanus as chief of the general staff. He distinguished himself at the battles of Saalfeld and Jena, and at Friedland he commanded the First Corps in such a manner that Napoleon made him a Marshal of France. After the Peace of Tilsite he became Governor of Berlin, and in 1808 he was created Duke of Belluno. In the same year he was sent to Spain, where he took a prominent part in the Peninsular War, until his appointment in 1812 to a corps command in the invasion of Russia. Here his most important service was in protecting the retreating army at the crossing of the Berezina River. He took an active part in the wars of 1813 to 1814, until in February 1814 he arrived too late at montereau sur yon The result was a scene of violent recrimination and his supersession by the emperor, who transferred his command to Garrod. Thus wounded in his amour propre, Victor now transferred his allegiance to the Bourbon dynasty and in December 1814 received from Louis XVIII the command of the Second Military Division. In 1815, on the return of Napoleon from exile in Elba Victor accompanied the king to Ghent, the Bourbon Restoration. When the Second Restoration followed the Battle of Waterloo he was made a peer of France. He became president of a commission which inquired into the conduct of the officers during the Hundred Days, and dismissed Napoleon's sympathizers. In 1821 he was appointed war minister and held this office for two years. In 1830 he was major general of the Royal Guard, and after the July Revolution of that year he retired altogether into private life. He died in Paris on 1 March 1841. His papers for the period 1793 to 1800 have been published. Personal life. He married firstly in May 1791 Jean Josephine Muguet and had four children. Victorine. Charles. Napoleon Victor, Eugene. He married secondly in June 1803 Julie Vosch van Avisate and had a daughter, Stephanie Josephine. Evaluation. Victor had mixed military talents. He was an excellent organizer and tactician. During his time in Spain he destroyed entire Spanish armies with canne-like envelopments and even fought Wellington to a virtual tactical draw at 
Talavera. However, he was a timid strategist often afraid of taking risks. Nevertheless, he recognized new developments in warfare and implemented them throughout his career. At the Beresina River in 1812, he made excellent use of reverse slope defenses showing that he learned something from Wellington.